just didn't understand. You know, we were doing step three. I, I went to Alcoholics Anonymous before I went back to church, and and I stayed in AA for four and a half years. And then I, you know, I was going to be a star in AA. I was going to memorize chapter three. And I was going to write all these recovery songs and go around and sing all the AA roundups yeah. and be a star. I just couldn't give up that idea. You know. I was on Capitol Records. Yeah, we, you know, the band and I, we won two Academy of Country Music Awards in 1973. We, we were on the Grand Ole Opry and we played Las Vegas and we did all this. I had my chance. And I drank and used myself out of it. But you know, I, I was, we were talking about step three, where you surrender your will and your life over to the care of God. I hate that part, as you understand him. I understand him. I know he is. The only God that exists, Jehovah God. Amen. Period. So, uh, but I couldn't do step three. No problem with step one, step two. But I couldn't give myself to God yet because I was kind of dirty. I thought I had to clean myself up first. Present myself to him a little more clean. I mean, I had it all backwards. And this one guy got so angry at me, he said, Get out of my room. I don't even want to talk to you until you do that step. You've got it all wrong. You're dirty, and God will clean you up. You've got to give yourself to him to do that. So I, he cussed me out almost. You know? okay, man, I'm walking down the sidewalk, and I'm all upset. You know how we get our egos. You know, we get upset about things because it's all about me. And I'm walking down the sidewalk and I'm thinking, that rat rooster. <laughs> and I look across, and this was in San Pedro, California, and overlooking the harbor, and there was a park bench there. And for some reason, I was drawn to go to that park bench, and I walked over toward it, and now uh, nobody sat in this park bench because it was full of poo poo. Bird and gull. Crap. <laughs> Place was, it was covered with it. And, and, and so I went over there and I was thinking about what he said. And, you know, Lord, he's right. He's right. So I knelt down at that park bench and I found a couple of spots where I could put my elbows. <laughs> Fell right at home. <laughs> like I blended in very well. There's a song on there called the Salvation Song. Would you play that for me? And, and I said this prayer to God. On which CD? Yes. It's on the home this morning. Okay. Yeah. And I surrendered my will to the Lord that day. And this song came out of that. i 
to my heart. Wash me as white as white as the snow. Forgive me for all that I've done. You're the only one who can save me, I know. I still struggling with <laughs> well do I need to be here I can really take care of myself I don't need God or are you ready or are you at that point where you say you know what <laughs> there's something to this man it's starting to make sense And if you're at that point and you want to surrender, will you raise your hand right now? I see a bunch of hands. Praise God. Oh, a bunch of hands. Pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I surrender to you today. Take my life. Take my heart. Fill it with your goodness, Lord. Change me. I want to be like you. I know I'm going to mess up. But you died for me. So that I could have life forever with you. You paid the price for me. I believe that. And I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, if I don't do this, I'll be in trouble. I do a lot of singing in prisons and jails, and I'm getting ready to go to Abilene, Texas, and sing in there, and then I'm going to Oklahoma to sing in some prisons there. And then Missouri, a bunch of prisons up there. And a couple of cowboy churches, too. Hallelujah. Wall Pilgrim. So, love the cowboy churches. <laughs> but you know when I first started going into prisons I was terrified until I sang and when I sang once and the guys all screamed and yelled for me and everything I was like alright I can do this I'm okay now just put me in any unit I'll go so they did they put me in this unit and there was like about 200 guys in there and, And as I'm walking up to the microphone, I'm just kind of strutting up there, like you know, getting ready to do my thing. The guy's introducing me in Spanish. <laughs> now, I didn't know any songs in Spanish. Uh, 
And all of a sudden, one of the little guys yelled out, Freddy Fender! <laughs> now, I knew a Freddy Fender song. Do you all know who Freddy Fender is? Anybody know? Some of you do, some of you don't. So none of them could speak English, so except maybe a few. So this is the best I could do. If he bring you happiness, the night the If you're you, that might be But if he ever breaks your heart Should the teardrops ever start I'll be there before the naked eardrops fall They went berserk verse was in Spanish. <laughs> and I didn't know it. They're all waiting for that verse and looking at me. And I just made something up, Gabe. In Chirito. Tostada. God's able to use those 